our clothing does alter people's perception of who we are. So whether I'm a med school student wearing a short skirt, fishnet stockings, thigh high boots, hanging out with my friends, people aren't going to take the time probably to find out what my background is, correct? And we all do it, we're all guilty of it. When you see someone, you are automatically judging them whether you intend to or not. And so because we know that, because we know that that is innate within us, what are you saying when you get dressed in the morning? A lot of people do think that branding is like your logo, but it's not actually your logo. All of these things, your logo, your color palette are aspects of your brand, but that is not, not branding. So branding is not a logo. Branding is not a product. Branding is a customer's gut feeling about a product, service, or company. All right? So people take whatever raw materials you throw at them and they make their own conclusion. So it's, it's more like a reputation uh, or the way that your marketing makes people feel. Now as a creative, it's important to copyright your work because copywriting your work doesn't just provide you with protections. It provides you with ways to monetize what you've created. And being able to correctly protect your work allows you to monetize them via licenses. When you have that moment of like, yo, I should do that, and you go, man, I'm not, right? You go, man, I'm not going. From now on, what I want you to do instead of, I'm not, just be like, let me go ahead, right? You still get to suck your teeth, because I know you like that part. You still get to complain, because we like that part. We love to, com love to complain. But make it a, ch change the mindset there. Let me go ahead. So can everybody say that? Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead, right? Because that's where, that's where it starts. This is not a matter of how you feel. Because a lot of people price their work off of, oh, I just feel like I'm worth it. No, boo-boo, you're not going to get that <laughs> cost just because you feel like it's something you should charge. You have to put some logic behind what you're thinking, long story short. Right at the top of your page, consistency is key big bold letters all your monetary income is quantified by consistency how you present yourself how you present your art how you present your product um, as you move forward in your business and as you grow your business from the ground up some of you may be starting out this may be your first day of your business uh, some of you may be in your fifth year of owning your business uh, but one thing that you will know and uh, come to know is that how you present yourself on a con uh, consistent basis, it, it will be directly correlated to your monetary income. I want to see your expenses when I'm doing your taxes. I want to see that you have a receipt for things. But also, if you get audited, you need to make sure you have those receipts. Okay? You need to make sure that you have those 1099s where you work for people and they paid you. You want to make sure that you have the receipts for where you did mileage, where you purchased clothing for an event. All things like that can be business deductions. You want to make sure that you're keeping those stuff. That checks and balances, again, that the other presenter talked about. 